It's morning and I really wanted to make a skin routine, morning skin routine video for all of you because I get a lot of DMs, a lot of requests of uh, knowing uh, my morning routine. So I start my morning with 99% of the time uh, a big tea and if I feel like then a coffee. So this is coffee and nowadays I'm going gluten free. I'm going uh, lactose free so this is uh, lactose free milk coffee that I'm having and okay let's start so my morning first thing is um, I cleanse my face with a nice face wash or uh, with uh, a cleanser thing because I believe when you wake up in the morning I have seen that whenever even a tiniest amount of makeup on my face I always get these pimples uh, on my on my like i can really see the breakouts happening nowadays though it is in fact more sensitive because the sun, sun is too harsh too harsh it's too hot no so we just start with my uh, cleansing my face wash Though I did wash my face when I woke up today, but not with uh, any cleanser. I just washed, like washed, 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 washed. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice rhythm. I should start writing songs also. Like I'm a multitasker. I can do anything. Okay, so as soon as my face gets little dry, I'm just going to blow some air with my beautiful hands. So let me just blow it out. Settle down. Next, I am going to do is lip balm scrub. It's like a beautiful coffee based uh, scrub which I got by Aina by Neha. Very, very beautiful. You know, we put a lot of lipsticks. And then, before lipsticks, there are uh, lip creams also, lip balms also. Then, on lipstick, there are lip glosses also. And um, no matter what, but there are a few products that we use, uh, they have chemicals. They have actually chemicals and you actually see the breakouts happening or some white heads um, you know uh, on the corners on the edges of the lips so this is the best thing to use it just takes I think one minute to just rub it over and just remove it I think if we exfoliate our skin it is necessary to exfoliate our lips also and I hear a lot of compliments for my lips so thank you so I just take this one It's very tasty also it's sweet don't eat it it just you know that essence that get inside your mouth it's just that don't eat don't lick it not good no matter if it is chemical free it's vegan whatever cruelty free but no but still that that essence that comes inside your mouth so you see that nicely gently do it on the edges mostly with a very light uh, force very light force don't put a lot of pressure especially if you have fillers on your lips if uh, if uh, you have cracked lips so you can damage them more and the fillers in the lips they are not prone to very harsh things so that's it so this is how it looks after you do the grab of your lips you want to wash it the natural oil is there and they are so smooth right now i can't tell you i hope you could have guys must have been able to touch it just <laughs> you can't very smooth very soft very beautiful feel that you get in the morning beautiful and after this i'm going to apply the serum the day serum which i majorly use the remelior uh, thing it's from france so it's a very very amazing product very amazing product 
because I have a very sensitive skin so rarely any product do wonders on my skin and you know it's like a savior thing it's one of those so I'm gonna take it on my fingertips put on my skin this is how I do when I put the serum on and just tap my fingers on the face and the skin just for that nice uh, massage feel I know there are a lot of products also in the market for the massage those rollers and those stone things but for some reason I believe what your fingers can do, nothing else. My serum is settled down properly. After this, I'm going to put my moisturizer. Again, I uh, don't use very fragranceful moisturizers or items or products for skin because the less fragrance the product has, the more effective it is on your skin, on your body. Trust me on it. Very less quantity of uh, the moisturizers because it's very sensitive. I have sometimes my skin is a combination skin. Sometimes my skin is a uh, dry skin. Sometimes it's too sensitive. Sometimes it's too oily. So I have to take everything very measured. So this also, I'm not going to rub it on my face, but I'm going to take it on my fingers and tap it again. It's like massaging and giving the skin the food for the day grease for the skin so that it feels good and fresh and light make all your muscles all your facial muscles active you know and like opening the eyes and then in the end on the hairline i just rub it over like this and on the jawline so yes a lot of uh, pollution uh, plus the products that we use on our face Plus the makeup that we uh, products as in the makeup products that we use on on our face, on my face, uh, and uh, the lights of course, not even the sunlight but the harsh lights that I work in uh, when I'm shooting. Uh, so at that time, uh, skin, no amount that you take care of your skin, it always always gets dull because those layer and layer of makeups and then those lights on your face and then the stress on the sets it's <sighs> okay now because the sun is very hot summers has come even if no summers i always always make sure that in winters too when the sun is very mild the weather is very chilled out that time also i use a good spf like strong spf sunscreen and uh, this uh, you know okay one more fact. Three years back, I used to call sunscreen a sunscreen. And then later on, I got to know that it's sunscreen, not sunscreen. And I actually had a debate that how can you say it a sunscreen when it is sunscreen? It's like moisturizing cream, lip cream, hand cream, feet cream, you know, it's like that cream, cream, then why it is cream? So that moisturizer is actually showing me those results because uh, the humid outside and in the house also. Uh, no amount of ACs can take care of that uh, sweat. And I'm sure bohat logo ke saath, aap logo ke saath bhi aisa hota hoga that when you put any kind of moisturizer on your face and your skin starts sweating out, it's just sweat. So this is what happens to me. And I don't feel that it is a bad thing. It is a good thing because now your pores are opened up and it is fine a uh, very uh, technical thing so when this thing comes up suddenly if you have a stone you can use any kind of uh, stone or you can use any kind of uh, if, even if you want to take a spoon uh, you can keep it in the freezer so when when this thing happens just rub that spoon over on your face or that particular stone i use normal stones because I'm, i love stones I love stones. I, I have a habit of uh, picking up stones from uh, the river banks, the sea banks, the seashores, something like that. So I have a lot of stones. So I use my those collective uh, stones. So uh, use that so that these pores that are opened up now, they settle down, they minimize, they, you, you can actually just shut them. So this is what you have to do when you sweat out after a moisturizer. Jo mere saath hota hai, bahut logo ke saath hota hai, I'm sure. So now I'm going to use my sunscreen. Again, not a lot, but just two. 
I'm gonna take it on my hand and just be aware of the redness of my skin because as soon as I put anything like this on my face and not tapping, my face becomes red. As if I'm a firang bacha. My mother used to call me a firang when I was a child because I had blonde hair. I was born with blonde hair. I'll share you the pictures very soon. I think I'm going, I'm going to share one picture today only with this uh, uh, blog. So you'll see. So my mother used to call me firang bacha. And my, my family used to be like, Ye kiska bacha hai? Ye kiska bacha hai? Ye baal hai? Kaali baal hai? Ghar mein brown baal kiske hai? Seriously? So, I had to put my hand on my hand. I said, this is not our child. Kidding. So, yes, uh, I am done with my morning routine. This is how it is. And I have put the sunscreen on my lips also. Because it is necessary. They also need protection. Uh, no matter what. And this is how it is. Don't go out without putting sunscreen on your body because nowadays these UV rays they are just killing people's skin. It is a skin killer. Skin killer. No doubt in that. So no compromise when it comes to putting sunscreen on your body and then get out of your house. So do that. Even if you have to put it here on your hands, even here, just keep a sunscreen with you all the time. If you don't want to put a moisturizer, that's okay. That's completely fine. But just keep a uh, uh, sunscreen with you. And my lip balm, which I'm going to apply now. It's good. It gives me that, uh, you know, that I am ready. I'm having a dark circle since some months now. I am observing. A lot of work stress, a lot of stress, a lot of time consumption, a lot of hard work, a lot of research. Okay, so here we are and I'm ready. And thank you so much for watching uh, my vlog. Thank you so much for coming on my channel. If you really like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, share and hit the bell icon. Uh, be consistent to my channel and I'm so sorry that I came up with the second vlog so late because I was really occupied. Yes, uh, you asked me a lot and so many people, so many of you were asking that when are you coming with your another uh, vlog PP and here PP is welcome to uh, the PP world and your wish is my command always and I'm going to come back soon, very soon, super soon. I love you all.